Hey everybody, what's going on? Buddy Blackford here with another After Nope Photoshop CS6 tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to um, mess around with your windows so you can work on multiple windows at the same time if you if you would like and how to arrange them in a couple different ways. So it's going to be like what I have on my screen now. So usually when you start it's going to be uh, just a bunch of tabs. So um, to be able to move these tabs around, you can click on it, pull out, and don't be perverted, guys. And put in the tab into this area where it turns blue, and it'll just come back into tabs. Alternately, you can come up to the window here, go to Arrange, and Consolidate All to Tabs. And as you could see before, when I went to arrange, it has a bunch of different um, ways that you can set up different um, image and windows. So if I click on two up vertical, it's going to put two of them side by side. Now I'll, I'll just open up a, another something that I had on here. Let's go open up this one. And it's just going to open up in another tab within one of these windows. If I go to window, now I can start working with these different um, vertical or three uh, sets of three here. So three up stacked, and um, I can work like this way. Now when I use something like when I use my zoom tool and I go to zoom all windows, you can see everything will zoom at the same time, and you can see it a little better than when you just have like tabs. So um, that's how you mess around with those windows there. You can take these also and drag them to the corners of like the windows. So if I go over here, um, you can see now that a blue line has shown up. And I just tried to point with my finger to show you guys where it is, but obviously you can't see that. So uh, that's goofy. And let go of it and it'll put it in that area for you. So that's nice. So go to Window, Arrange, Consolidate all the tabs to get it back where it is. Now you can uh, float your windows out if you would like. So you can either pull them out and um, let go and it'll float a window out like this. Let's um, put it back. And you can also come down here to float in window if you would like. And that just does the same exact, same exact thing. So I'm going to put these back into tabs again. Every time I do that, I just go to Arrange, Consolidate All to Tabs. So that's cool. And um, when you're doing these uh, different arranges and stuff like that, you can come down here to match the zoom of each one, the, the location and the rotation, or all if you would like. So I'll click on ma Match Zoom. Now everything is zoomed in at 100%. So we can look down here in the bottom left you can see 100% 100% 100% and you can also see how far it's zoomed in by this um, we're right above where my mouse is it says at 100% so that's also the zoom you can see that so sometimes when you're working and you're doing something such as retouching an image you need to like zoom in and um, work with the image all zoomed in but you also want to see it uh, zoomed out so you can see how it looks in the uh, final quality so you can create another uh, image window based on the same exact window or ba based on a, the same exact document that you have open so I might as well just do that instead of like clapping my jaw and sh I'll just show you guys so have whatever you want to open up selected Go to Arrange, New Window, 4, and then whatever the uh, image is called that you have. And it'll create another image for you. And then I could make this smaller if I wanted to, to, to work on this. So if I like need to zoom in here on this shirt, oh, I have zoom all windows on again. I don't want that. I'll zoom this out. So if you take a look at her shirt here, I'm going to just do some uh, mess around with it and maybe I'll just erase it. 
it actually works on the final image. So you can work on this and it'll do the same thing to this. So that's pretty nice if you gotta work and zoom in on something to get the work done. So uh, that's uh, about it for working with uh, multiple windows and multiple documents. Um, pretty, pretty sweet. Um, when you're working, uh, I guess, when you're working in documents, you can hold down control and press tab to quickly switch between the different documents, which is uh, uh, pretty nice, I guess. And uh, one last thing I want to show you is how to move uh, layers between your documents. So I'll set up uh, my windows so that we can see a decent amount of our of our um, work that we're working on. So I got three up stacked here, and I'll click on this one, and I have text here that I want to move over to this layer. So click on your move tool here, grab the text, and click on it, and drag it over to the other um, area that I want, and that way the text will automatically just get copied over onto the scene. So that's very handy, and people use it all the time. So uh, yeah, now we're done with the um, um, using the different layers or using the different windows and working in multiple windows. So thanks for watching this one. Give it a thumbs up if you liked or a thumbs down if you hated it. And subscribe for more Photoshop tutorials that will be coming up soon. Thanks for watching everybody and have a good one.